sketch a graph of the following. Key thing is sketch it. So I'm not going to bust out a ruler and be like, you're off by 0.8 units. Just get a basic idea. So what we could do if you wanted to for part A and only for part A is if you want, we can make a little XY chart. Then we can pick our standard numbers, negative 2 up to positive 2. What is negative 2 squared? Negative 1 squared, 0 squared, 1, 0. So if we were to plot these points, we should get our expected U-shaped curve. But instead of using or talking about other types of graphs, we're only talking about the plane. So from here on out, we're only going to be plotting one point, because that's all we need. So in B, remember, when you multiply a function by a number bigger than one, it vertically stretches the graph. So what you are essentially doing is you're doubling, in this case, all of the y points. So instead of negative 2, 4, it's now negative 2, 8. Negative 1, 1, it's now negative 1, 2. For our purposes, all you need to do for me is just to show that it got stretched a little bit. The only point I really concerned myself was this point here. As long as that point is sitting right there on the origin, as it should be, and the graph looks a little bit thinner, that's fine. I consider that vertically stretched. But I'm not going to pull out a ruler and be like, well, you multiplied by 1.879. It should have been a few. What were you thinking? No, we're not going to do that. But that's not the point of this. The point of this is to look at a function and have an idea of what the graph looks like without plotting type points. So by multiplying the function by 2, you're multiplying all the y coordinates by 2. So the old point was negative 2, 4. We'll multiply the y coordinate by 2, it's now negative 2, 8. So that means it's growing twice as fast. By multiplying the function by a number between 0 and 1, That slows down the rate at which the function grows. So just as a visual aid, this is an approximation of the original function, y equals x squared. So by multiplying the function by a fourth, you're multiplying all the y coordinates by a fourth. So what that does is it vertically compresses the graph, meaning you're squishing it down towards the x-axis. So it looks like it, it got wider. Because now it's taking four times as long to grow. B. Two things are happening in B. Let's first talk about the two. The two does the same thing as the two did before. This was a vertical stretch. What does the negative do? Over. Over the x-axis. So again, just for comparison, within black here, we have the graph of x squared. In blue here, I have the graph of 2x squared. So 
that in green, I'm going to reflect that over the x-axis. The same exact goodness as we did before. We're now only focusing on parabola. 